But the world keeps marching on. Even after the cross, evil keeps happening in the world. And so people ask, well, why doesn't God do something final about evil? And the last point is that Jesus will finish evil one day when he returns. He will finish evil. At the cross, God did something big about evil. I don't want to minimize this at all. Because without the cross, evil wins. Without the cross, our sins are not paid for, death is not defeated, the door to heaven is not opened, and evil wins. That's what happens without the cross. But he lets us go a little while longer in this world. Why? Well, the Bible tells us he's patient with us. He wants us to turn to him. And maybe, just maybe, by giving us another day, another week, another year, there will be more people who will hear his voice and turn to him. That's what he wants so bad from all of you. And he lets this world keep on marching on, even though it's marked by evil, so that some may turn and follow him and have their life revolutionized. But don't get me wrong, there is coming a day when Jesus will do something final about evil. There is coming a day when evil will be trampled underfoot. When God will bring about justice and scrap this planet and bring about a new resurrected age. It's one of his great historical acts of justice and mercy. And we will be resurrected into that pain-free world that all of us are yearning for. And God will be the center of it all, just as it should be. And Jesus says, I guarantee that promise to you because I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me will live even though he dies. And this is good news. Amen? where our hope firmly stands and it's where evil hits the finish line 